Hello, my beautiful friend. Okay, we are here today with a very exciting clue for our year-long mystery crochet along, Indivisible. And I have big news. You've now completed all nine squares for this project. So now it's time to put them all together. And this clue is all about connection and belonging. So as you join your pieces together, think of all the people in your life whom you love and how much more beautiful life is because of their present. To get started seaming this month, you're gonna need our recommended color, which is rose gold crema worsted. It's a beautiful and beloved dusty rose tone. And it's such a popular color and it coordinates so beautifully with all the previous colors that we've had. For this clue, you're gonna start by working a single crochet border around each square. And then you have the most exciting moment because you get to lay out your pieces and decide how you want them arranged. So play around until you get a three by three layout that you love, and then you're gonna to start to secure the pieces together. For this, it helps to have some removable stitch markers so that you can pin the corners together before you begin seaming. You're gonna use the zigzag stitch to seam all of the squares together horizontally, boop, boop, and then you're gonna do the same and seam them all together vertically. So here are a couple of swatches I've got to demonstrate the zigzag stitch for you. I've got my stitch markers separately in the corners, but I do recommend that you actually join your corners together so that you get crisp, clear edges. Okay, we're gonna start by inserting our hook into the corner stitch of this bottom square, and I do have the right sides facing up. Go ahead and grab your yarn and pull that through. Then jump over to your other square and you're gonna insert your hook top to bottom. So top to bottom into that first corner stitch. And same thing, we're gonna go ahead and pull a loop through and go ahead and pull it through the next loop as well. So we've created a slip stitch. Now we're gonna alternate slip stitches back and forth, back and forth. So go ahead and jump into the next stitch on your bottom piece. Pull up a loop and go ahead and pull it all the way through to create a slip stitch. Jump to your top piece and jump to your second stitch. Go ahead and insert your hook top to bottom. Yarn over, pull through, all the way through to create a slip stitch. Jump down to the bottom square, insert your hook into the stitch, top to bottom. Pull your loop, pull it all the way through. Jump to your top square, insert your hook top to bottom. Yarn over, pull through to create a slip stitch. And so we are zigzagging slip stitches back and forth. It is so cool. So you're just gonna continue working your slip stitches. And I love that it creates sort of, not only a zigzag, but a little bit of a ridge. And it's just a really unique joining method. Of course, if you have another method that you prefer, you could do that. But if you haven't tried this one, I definitely recommend that you give it a whirl. So when you reach the corners, nothing changes. So you will most likely have other pieces attached here. Literally just keep going. Work into the corner stitch, slip stitch, work into this corner stitch, slip stitch, and just continue right across uh, the next corners and your next pieces, and you're gonna get this really gorgeous look. So here's our beautiful little zigzag, super easy to create, beautiful little ridge, gorgeous little detail for your project. So there you have it. Once you have seamed your pieces together, sit tight for next month because you are gonna have a very exciting decision to make. So I will reveal that then. Bye!